Hi guys, I just got back from my camping trip last weekend and in that video or those videos I said that I'd give you a quick rundown of the kit that I use uh, when I do go camping. Uh, I hope the light is okay right now um, because in the sun it's about 30 degrees so I've got it all in the shade. Uh, if it doesn't come out or it doesn't show up I'll have to redo the whole video. So this is all the kit that I actually use uh, for my camping trips. So from right to left, so what we have here is that we have the sun shades. Now I went to Canadian Tire, uh, which is our local auto parts store, and uh, these were on sale for about $20 each, $20 a piece. So that's probably about $15 or $16 American. And uh, I did look online. I know that Evanex makes ones that are um, designed for the Tesla Model S, but I am a frugal guy, and uh, I was able to make these sunshades uh, work for the front and the two sides. I still have to deal with the rear uh, window, but that is probably later. Uh, also, what I have is my two... Uh, cook pots. These are for when I make soup or tea or whatever kind of stew that I'm boiling up on the side of the road. Uh, this long item here is actually a folding table and uh, I did like the table because it allows me to keep my uh, stove and such off the ground. Uh, what we have over here is a Scotia 12 volt adapter. So this is going to fit into your uh, cigarette lighter and what this does it actually allows you to power anything with a regular 3 pin or a 2.1 amp uh, USB cord which is actually brilliant. It's a great speed uh, charging either your phone or any of your electrical devices but this 3 pin uh, sort of house uh, socket allows me to charge up my laptop when on the road and also my uh, skateboard and anything else that has a three pin sort of household plug and this I think it was about forty dollars at uh, Walmart believe it or not um, it didn't have the greatest reviews it sort of had a sixty percent review on it uh, so six out of ten but I haven't had any problems with it yet but then again I've only used it for one camping trip but I mean for forty dollars uh, it's it's not too too bad of course, being a Brit, I gotta have a kettle for water to make a cup of tea. Uh, and there is my butane stove. Uh, this is a Gas One model. Uh, it is actually, you know, a single burner butane, and it has these these type of canisters. These are found just about everywhere at any camping store, um, and it puts out a really hot flame and you, you know boils water or soup quite quite fast. Over here, of course, what I have my sleeping bag. This Sun Year is actually a, a camp chair. Now, uh, on all the motorcycle adventure uh, forums and stories that I read up on and watch, they have another brand, and I can't recall what it is, but it's ridiculously expensive for just a chair. But this Sun Year, it's one of these, I, I'll call it a Chinese knockoff, but, or maybe a Chinese copied style, but it does everything that, uh, I really sort of want it to do. Uh, holds my weight and I'm a 200 pound guy. Uh, next up here is my cot, my stretcher cot. And this has uh, four ribs uh, in it and only three of the four supports actually line up uh, in the car. The top end, the head end of the supports are hanging over where the front seat goes down, the gap there. Um, but I, I don't have any problem with it. so. I'm fine. And of course here on the left is my uh, inboard electric skateboard. And I use that skateboard when I actually go to superchargers. Um, you know, to, to tour around the area to see what's in the town or anything. Uh, just to see what's out there. So I use that uh, electric skateboard quite a bit. And last but not least, what I have here is, is a single sleeping mattress. Now it's not a it's not designed for water it's not the the kind that you lounge about on a, a you know an inflatable you know in a pool 
this is actually a camping one and the great thing about this is that it has kind of like a suede or a fabric on one side and then the, the the plastic on the other side the thing about having the suede on one side like I think I said in one of the videos is that when you're uh, when you have your sleeping bag and it's on the cot you don't slide off all the time there's been numerous times when I didn't have this or before I had this that I'd wake up in the morning I'd be off my cot and I'd be sort of in strange positions so um, the great thing about all this stuff here it fits in my frunk all but the skateboard the skateboard I keep in the back so all that stuff there fits nicely in the frunk so I don't have to worry about it so uh, another great thing about the sleeping oh the, the the cot here the mattress is that when I when I do my sleeping trip like my camping trips I think I did that you know the four night five day one um, with the mattress I don't fill it up all the way so I it filled up about three quarters of the way now and what that does it allows sort of my body to sort of go with the contour this this forms into the contours of my body uh, and the other great thing is that the the morning when you wake up uh, instead of having to deflate the whole thing what you do is you just fold it in half and it fits nicely in the trunk so you don't have to deflate it every night and then or every morning then inflate it every morning and uh, you know what I mean right so there it just stays like that and everything's good so I'm gonna set it up for you just to show what it would look like while everything's all ready so I'll talk to you a second there you go that is my setup see there's ample room on the right hand side here to put your clothing or uh, all your other baggage all the charging stuff is either in the side or in the bunk which is the bottom trunk and uh, it's got the mattress there now this is what I'm make sure I got the keys so this is what I was talking about the head cross member has nothing to really sort of sit on but it doesn't matter because you know three quarters my well, cousin Darwish, who oh, is Harris's older brother. Apparently my uh, radio here. turned on. And Let's turn that off before any kind of copyright laws. Alright, there we go. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying that the uh, it doesn't really matter because three quarters of um, the stretcher is is on the supports back here. Uh, also majority of the weight is my belly which is down here and my head doesn't really weigh that much so this stays fine here I do have to put the front seat forward in order to allow this uh, six foot something stretcher to to fit in there so here we have the I'll go into the front here so here we have the front shade being used to cover the two sides now they're not 100% you can see a little wedge there and a tiny little filler up there but I don't think that that's going to cause too much issues and like I said I looked on Evanex and Evanex is selling a front set for $60 US a back set for $60 US a front shade for $60 US and then a rear shade for $60 US and and um, you know, uh, to me that's it's, it's too much money. So this was twenty dollars, and it does ninety-eight percent of the job that it's supposed to do. And um, and as you can tell, it, it it already sort of darkens the uh, the cabin. Now I haven't done this side because it has to be done once you're in. So what would have to happen is that I put these two up. Put the cot in uh, then get in through this side and then crawl either back that way or through the through the trunk this way so as you can tell it's it's not not too bad not too shabby so yeah, there you go that's what I use when I go camping and it's very comfortable what I did notice is that when I did my winter trip that I used a lot more energy overnight heating the cabin 
that I did on my trip during the summer last week where I was using the cooling side of it to cool the cabin and it used less using the cooler so that's that's always good to know um, yeah if you have any questions about my setup or where I get the stuff uh, I am frugal I'm not cheap I'm frugal uh, so trying to find things that's the best deal that's what I do anyway I hope you enjoyed that and there she is I'm looking forward to uh, more camping adventures cheers so here you go I just wanted to show you that everything does fit in the front so all my camping needs is there in the front ready for my next adventure talk to you soon bye